And so I'm gonna, the shine goes like this. It says, tell me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Ready? Tell me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Tell me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Okay, louder, okay? Tell me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Tell me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Okay. I'm 18 years old and I'm a senior in high school, freshman for high school in Queens. I am a friend, I am a sister, and I am somebody's daughter. I am the girl that walks down the block just with, just with every single one of you. I am the girl that stands here today proud to say that she is undocumented. Because today I'm coming out of the shadows and I want every, every one of you guys to meet me today. My name is Jessica. And next time you guys hear a story about an immigrant taking your jobs or about an illegal immigrant doing something bad, I want you guys to remember who I am. My name is Jessica Martinez. I came to this country when I was 10 years old, fleeing the violence of my native language in Colombia. I came with my, my mom, my dad, my brother and sister who are wonderful people who only wanted to have a better life for themselves. I came here with a bag full of hopes wanting to go to school and wanting to get an education, wanting to better myself and bring my family out of poverty. I, so the first struggle that an immigrant person encounters is learning English. So that was my first struggle. I had to sit in a classroom listening to everybody talking English and I said to myself, you know what, you're gonna have to learn English. And I did, in less than six months I did learn English and then I began excelling in school and doing everything that I could to, Immigrant students have to work twice as hard to prove themselves. So that's what I've been doing ever since I came here in the fifth grade. I'm in my senior year in high school. I am president of Aspira, a Hispanic club in my school. I do community service on the weekends. I, I go to church on Sundays. Um, so needless to say, I'm a pretty good girl, so I'm not as bad as the media puts me out to be. Um, one of my dreams is to go to college and hopefully one day get an education and become a teacher. I want to be a teacher to close the achievement gap in our country that is that is keeping us down. I don't know who watched, who here watched President Obama's U State of the Union address? Did everybody watch it? Okay, so do you guys remember when he called out to all teenagers? He said, if you really want to make a change, I want you guys to become teachers. Well, that's what I want to do, but our laws are keeping me from doing that. I want to go to college and I want to become a teacher. I want to help out the community. So now tell me, because I'm undocumented, I can't do that. I can't give back to the country that has nurtured my dreams, that has helped me out since I was 10 years old. I love this country. I love democracy. I love the fact that I can stand here and talk to you guys today without being persecuted. But I also want to have the ability to contribute. I want to, I want to give back. And I want you all guys to help me. Today I stand here. This is a call to action to everybody here. I want everybody to say, I support the Dream Act, and I support the Dreamers. So who supports the Dream Act? Jessica! My name is Jessica Martinez. I'm undocumented, unafraid, and unapologetic. And this is a call to action to all of you, because it is up to you to let my dreams become a reality. Thank you. Woo!